Welcome guys, in today's video we'll be going undercover and investigating what went wrong with these cars, why they find themselves at an auction, what went wrong. So here it's a Range Rover, I believe it's a Sport SV, I'm not sure because I couldn't find the papers of it or any information about it. But when you get inside guys, it was smelling, it's like something is living there, you know. But guys, it was smelling, it was so dirty, and even the tires were going underneath. So obviously, guys, when cars be like this, I can't get inside because guys, yo, that smell is very strong. But you can see, guys, it's a very good Range Rover. I was told that there's a possibility that this could be a flooded car. Imagine, guys, your car being flooded by a flood. I hope that makes sense, but you, I will try, guys. Now we are looking at 2008 BMW 135i, a convertible one in which it's an automatic. This one I'm not sure why guys it's in an auction but it seems like it has papers delay, engine starts properly, I'm not sure why guys it's even doing it. As you can see the interior is very 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 good, well intake but guys hey this coupe ones it seems like they have very very small space but this one I believe be having engine problems as it was previously repaired which means it's been giving the owner a problem tell me what you think we are looking at 2013 porsche cayenne s diesel tiptronic this one i'm not sure why it's even doing here but by looking off it it seems like it's in a very good condition the interior guys it's well kept but the problem i might think when, when i add one plus one seems like the problem might be the car service maybe it was costing too much because this guys is a porsche and a lot of porsches we know guys you you don't play and surprisingly this one it was sold around two hundred and fifty thousand, which is a lot of money for 2018 porsche cayenne I tried to check a service plan for this 2018 Cayenne, but they gave me a maintenance list for a 2019 Porsche Cayenne. Let's see the difference. For an air filter, it will cost around 1138 rands. For oil filter, it will cost 293. For a spark plug, it will cost around 1360. For a fan belt, it will cost around 1233. For a wiper blade, it will cost around 994. Frying brakes, 5721. That's how you can see that this car, guys, is no joke, which means it is very expensive for a service plan and to properly take it to Porsche to fix it. Hey, guys, having a Porsche, which means you must have a deep pocket. I was surprised to see this car. I asked myself, what's the name of this car? Apparently, this is the MG6 Table 2013 version. MG Motor is an automotive company headquartered in London but owned by a Shanghai based Chinese stated automaker, SAIC Motors. When it was released, there were pros and cons. The pros was that it has a good steering, punchy diesel engine, spacious interior, and large boot. But the cons was that it is poor build quality, leg rivals, refinement, and early models were overpriced. Some of the cars like these two guys, the BMW, I tried to find them on the web or on app, but I could not find them. I think maybe they were not registered. So this is an RSE that was locked. I'm not sure what's the problem or the cause of it, but this one seems like guys, ha, ah, this one the maintenance, it was very high, I can tell because it was not kept maintained, it was damaged, the engine was bad, but the overall condition of it is in a very good condition, but the maintenance, very, very expensive. This is an RS5. Obvious cause I was dream cars here. <laughs> this is one of the dream cars that will find in any junkyard. 
2013 VW Golf 7 2.0 TDI Blue Motion. I wonder what is Blue Motion. Let me research quickly, guys. I'm coming back. Apparently, Blue Motion is not one specific thing, but a series of technologies designed to maximum the number of kilometers a car can travel on a 4 liters of fuel, which means equivalent to a gallon, while also making the exhaust emissions better. Ayona guy, it was in a very, very bad condition. Guys, it's like it's very, very dead. It's like something is already living there. It's not something that will live there. It's something that is already living there. But I found a ticket of Orlando Pirates VCs. I'm not sure which team, but obviously I'm sure we beat them. Because why? Uh, we just we just walk. We just walk through these teams. But as you can see, guys, a golf seven is a golf seven. Very good one. I can buy this one. Blue Machine is a very good name on the streets, guys. Blue Machine. I wanted to pass this presidential car. This is a very special car, but I retracted and said, wait, is this blue tech? Seems like it's blue motion, blue tech, everything, the sky is so blue. So this is a 2018 Mercedes-Benz S350 CDI blue tech. Guys, this one, uh, presidential. Even today's day, I'm not sure what that volume thing is used for. But it seems like, guys, Mercedes Benz is keeping its wood color. Because when my father was rich, it had that wood, that brown wood. So it's a very good thing that is keeping that wood color. Because Benz wood is it's, it's an alignment. Well, I'm busy being touchy touchy there. This one was sold for 180,000 rands and the only issue it has are body dents and scratches. The engine starts, but what might be the reason for this car to find itself here? My theory might say that maybe a company was owning this car like funeral company Ooh, and please, it was guys, maybe an expense please. for them to have it. Please. So they decided to auction it and it was sold at a, I guess it's a better price for a 2013 one. I guess it's a very good price. Oh, that's hot, guys. Yeah? I use that. Some of these cars were not registered on the app and guys it was confusing so some of the cars I didn't review them. Welcome to the South African family car that never carries a family. There's a lot of reasons why this car never carries a family. It's because it is bought by the big ballers, by the big guys. This car I can say is the trademark of Mercedes Benz. This vehicle was not on the website. My theory might be that it was bought on the previous auction and the owner never came to collect it. But guys, this one is a very, very odd model because imagine I had to pull the seat underneath in order to get into the back seat. And the nowadays ones or the 2020 ones, you guys, you sit while looking at each other. So guys, you no longer go to the back seat. You just sit looking at each other, facing each other. That's how it is. It has tables. It has everything. But this one was very, very dirty. And I think I saw vomit there. So this one ish, guys. Yo, big ballers. But the interior also, the driving interior is very, very good. I was even struggling to close the sliding door. The newer ones, you just press and it closes by itself. So this one guy was in a very good condition. Just that the interior was dirty and it just needs some Chelsea and it's a very good car.